Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a clear gloss lip kit tutorial. So if you're watching this video, it is likely that you just got your clear gloss lip kit and you're hoping for some tips on how to create some beautiful lip glosses. Let's st get started. You'll open up your kit and you're gonna see your welcome card. And next are gonna be all of the powder colors that are included in your kit. These are mica based pigment powders. They're sheer and sparkly. Uh, we provide a variety of different colors to add to your lip glosses. Next, you'll see the three all natural flavors that we include. There's vanilla bean, watermelon basil, and champagne flavor. We also include eight different liquid pigments to add to your lip gloss. These are all finely milled in castor oil. These pigments on their own are very clumpy and that's why we mill them into a liquid form. It makes it much easier to add into your lip gloss without any clumps or streaks. The eight colors included are cool red, warm red, and true red. We also have an orange, brown, white, black, and blue that are all included. By blending these together, you're able to create just about any color that you could ever want. You also get 10 lip tubes included in the kit. Each lip tube holds 10 milliliters. This is the measuring beaker that you'll be mixing your lip glosses in, the filling syringe, and a spatula and mini scoop. Lastly, here is the clear lip gloss base. You'll see it is crystal clear and it's also got a nice light fluid texture, which feels incredible to wear on the lips. It's not sticky or goopy feeling. So I'm gonna be making a purple shade for this tutorial. And right now I'm adding in cool red liquid color. You can see I add about five drops to the base. If you're mixing for the first time, I would highly recommend adding drop by drop, stirring after each drop, so you are okay with the color that you're creating as you go. This liquid colorant is so very pigmented, you can, you can go overboard easily if you're not careful. I've done this several times, so I went ahead and I knew exactly how much to add. Because I'm going for a purple color, I'm adding a drop of blue here. Now you'll see the blue changes this pink so drastically to a dark purple. It only takes one drop of blue mixed in with all of that pink color that the cool red liquid creates to get a purple color. Be sure that you are stirring thoroughly. Well, I want this to be a little bit softer, so I'm adding some white liquid color. <laughs> now that came out a little bit fast. Um, it was about one drop. It came out as one drop, but I would consider that about three drops worth of white. It just rushed out of the bottle there. So make sure I stir that in really, really well. As you can see, it softens it a little bit. It also makes it more opaque. I'm really happy with the way this purple is looking, so I just wanna make sure I stir it in all of the way before I add in my powder color. It's got a nice semi-sheer finish right now, which is exactly what I was going for. That is our plum powder color that I'm adding to this, which is a nice indigo purple. It's got a bit of a shift to it as well. It looks really nice. So I'm stirring that in thoroughly to give it a little bit of a shimmer and sparkle. For each 10 milliliter lip gloss, I like to add about three drops of flavoring oil. You can add a little more or a little less, but I wouldn't go more than maybe five or six drops per 10 milliliters, or it's gonna become a little bit bitter. Now 
Now that I've made the gloss, I'm gonna get ready to fill the tube. This can get a little bit messy. I always lay down a paper towel, especially if you're on a workstation that doesn't clean up as easily. Because this clear lip gloss base is quite fluid, I don't cut too much of the tip off of the syringe, just a tiny little bit, but that does help it to flow out a little bit more easily. If I were to cut a bigger hole, it would flow out too much um, and potentially create an even bigger mess, which I don't want, of course. Also, because this base is so light and fluid, you don't have to scoop it into the syringe. I set my syringe up in my tube, I hold it steady, and I just pour it right into the filling syringe. Once all the lip gloss is in the syringe, I go ahead and put the plunger back into the syringe and begin to just very gently squeeze the gloss into the tube. Make sure when your syringe is in your lip tube that you're not pushing the syringe down deep in there. If there is no way that air can flow into the tube, you're not gonna be able to fill the tube at all. You need a little bit of air flow for the, for the lip gloss to get in there. And as always, be sure that you leave a little bit of a space at the end of the lip tube. Don't fill it all the way the, to the top because the wand takes up more room than you would imagine. Once you're done, go ahead and screw the wand in and you're all set. Hope you guys liked this video. Be sure that you subscribe to our channel for much more tutorial videos and other content. And give us a thumbs up and comment if you did like this video. Thanks. Bye.